Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Grace Academy in Hartford takes this theory one step further, focusing not only on a solid quality education, but on the growth and development of each student's character. Their morning assembly is a prime example of their focus on character. Not just teaching academics, but enriching every aspect of each student's life, well-being, and future. Good morning, Mr. Head of school Matthew Fitzsimons explained what makes Grace Academy such a unique place for girls. Grace Academy is one of like 70 schools in the country and all the schools, which is kind of neat, were all meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning uh, for this morning assembly. And one of the things, as you saw, we begin, the, uh, one student will lead in a roll call. But it's not just calling their names, it's good morning, good morning Ashley, or good morning Nakaya, and they say good morning back. And then we have an opening prayer. Uh, we have a word of the day. Uh, we talk about some event that happened this day in history, which we then try to create these role models of especially um, great women who they can look to and say, hey, maybe that could be me as well. Um, and then we have announcements and special intentions. We have some kind of reading and reflection. So it takes about 20 minutes, but it really kind of gets the students to come together and gel as like a community. Uh, develop a sisterhood, which they talk about all the time. They feel they're in some kind of sisterhood. And it's just a great way to start the day. It gives a lot of energy, um, a lot of positivity to the day, and just makes, I think, people feel good, but also thinking about and reflecting about you know, who they are and wh what their place might be in the world. Now, this is based on the Nativity Miguel model. Yes. Tell yes. us more about that. So they created this model, fifth grade through eighth grade to take the lowest income students from uh, the area, provide a tuition-free education, make it intentionally small so they can really know all the students, all the teachers can really get to know all the students, have an extended day, Saturday field trips, mandatory summer school, and then after they graduate, they would follow them continue to tutor them, support them, even pay part of like their tuition to go to a private high school so that they can then go on to college. And now, to jump ahead, now there's 70 of them in urban areas across the country, uh, and they're single sex. So we're all girls, there's all boys, um, and they're pretty much you know evenly divided. We're then graduating them, putting them into great high schools, and we're seven years in, so our oldest are seniors in high school, but they've already been hearing where they're going to college. So um, it's a model that you know is working. And what really impressed me was each and every student individually came up, shook my hand, and welcomed me to Grace Academy. Yeah. And I, I was blown away. Tell me about the core values and, and how you integrate them into your curriculum. So we have values of um, courageous compassion. So we talked about you know how can you serve and act compassionately to one another. Um, to we do community service on the weekends. Uh, we even have things during the week, so think about courageous compassion. And then we want them to be, it's an intense academic program, so leadership through academic excellence. So we want them to really work hard on their homework, on all their projects, to get the best grades that they possibly can so they can get into a great high school that would lead them on to college. And then uh, hospitality, kind of like, you know, how to engage other people, to talk to people, to be generous to people, to give tours to people, to welcome people in, um, a sense of joy, having joy, uh, grace. So those are the, the values, and of course, respect. Students are proud to be part of such a special environment. A few of them brought us on a tour to get an inside look at Grace Academy. Is there any, any particular moment where you realized that this was a really special place? I guess when, in fifth grade, when everybody was starting out, nobody barely knew anybody, but some people knew each other. But I came from a different town, and I moved back to my old town, so I didn't know anyone, and when I came in, all the, everybody showed love and compassion to me, and I will never forget that. What is it that your parent is, is required to do? Um, Sometimes my mom brings lunch in for the teachers, and sometimes she helps clean the schools on Friday. I usually stay back to help her. And you choose to do that? Yeah. 
in most schools, the teachers and the students aren't really that close. But at Grace Academy, it's really easy to open up to the teachers and talk to them. And it's like they're friends. What is your favorite thing, if you had to say your favorite thing about this academy, what would it be? Uh, the sisterhood, because it's a place in where you can be yourself and you're not afraid to do that. Um, you can go up to a teacher and ask them a question. You can rely on your friends. If, you, if you're not here one day, you can ask them for the homework. They can explain things. So it's my second family, definitely. Even the teachers value and appreciate the sisterhood and how it really feels just like a family. I think that it's a privilege to know these girls. I think that they brighten my day every single day. Even when I'm not with, with them, I'm thinking of them. Um, and I think that's what makes this place so special is the students. I think that every teacher cares about their students, but there's such a deep, like, deep level of caring. Like, I really need to know where they go on to high school and the fact that like we follow them through where they go to college too. Like, our first graduating class ever is going into college now and it's, I didn't know them personally, but I know them through them visiting back here and I'm excited to hear where they're off to and what they're up to, so. I think that connection with the teachers and students is really, really special. So kind of the tagline for all the Nativity Miguel schools for Grace Academy is what we're trying to do is break the cycle of urban poverty through education. So we're only focusing on the lowest income students from the city of Hartford. Take them in. There is a correlation that they're behind. Many of them are, have come in at the fifth grade, they're fourth grade, third grade, second grade in either reading or math. And taking them and giving them that kind of education so they can go on to a great high school. And then the second one is like we really are transforming their lives, you know, through this model of education. As you can see, it's more than just academics here. Grace Academy is all about shaping compassionate, hardworking, thoughtful citizens who know the importance of showing kindness, giving back, and following your dreams.